Emperor Kanmu, or Kamu, was the 50th emperor of Japan, according to the traditional order of succession. Kanmu reigned from 781 to 806, and it was during his reign that Japanese imperial power reached its peak. Emperor Kanmu Kanmu's personal name was Yamam. He was the eldest son of Prince Shirakabe, and was born prior to Shirakabe's ascension to the throne. According to the Shoku Nihongji, Yamam's mother, Yamato no Niigasa, was a 10th generation descendant of Muryong of Bekje. After his father became emperor, Kanmu's half brother, Prince Osabe, was appointed to the rank of crown prince. His mother was Princess Ino, a daughter of Emperor Shomu, but instead of Osabe, it was Kanmu who was later named to succeed their father. After Ino and Prince Osabe were confined and then died in 775, Osabe's sister, Kanmu's half sister Princess Sakahito, became Kanmu's wife. Later, when he ascended to the throne in 781, Kanmu appointed his young brother, Prince Sawara, whose mother was Takano no Niigasa, as crown prince. Hikami no Kawatsugu, a son of Emperor Tenmu's grandson Prince Shayuaki and Shomu's daughter Fuwa, attempted to carry out a coup d'état in 782, but it failed and Kawatsugu and his mother were sent into exile. In 785 Sawara was expelled and died in exile. The Nara period saw the appointment of the first shogun, Otomo no Otomuro by Emperor Kanmu in 794 CE. The shogun was the military dictator of Japan with near-absolute power over territories via the military. Otomuro was declared Seiai Tai Shogun which means barbarian subduing great general. Emperor Kanmu granted the second title of shogun to Sakanu no Tamuramuro for subduing the Amishi in northern Honshu. Kanmu had 16 empresses and consorts, and 32 imperial sons and daughters. Among them, three sons would eventually ascend to the imperial throne, Emperor Heisei, Emperor Saga, and Emperor Juna. Some of his descendants took the Taira hereditary clan title, and in later generations became prominent warriors. Examples include Taira no Masakado, Taira no Kiyomori, and the Hojo clan. The Waka poet Arawara no Narahira was one of his grandsons. Kanmu is traditionally venerated at his tomb. The Imperial Household Agency designates Kashiwabara no Misasagi, in Fushimi-ku, Kyoto, as the location of Kanmu's mausoleum. Kanmu was an active emperor who attempted to consolidate government hierarchies and functions. Kanmu appointed Sakanu no Tamuramuro to lead a military expedition against the Amishi. The years of Kanmu's reign are more specifically identified by more than one era name. Earlier Imperial Sponsorship of Buddhism beginning with Prince Shataku, had led to a general politicization of the clergy, along with an increase in intrigue and corruption. In 784 Kanmu shifted his capital from Nara to Nagokakyo in a move that was said to be designed to edge the powerful Nara Buddhist establishments out of state politics, while the capital moved, the major Buddhist temples, and their officials, stayed put. Indeed, there was a steady stream of edicts issued from 771 right through the period of Kukai studies which, for instance, sought to limit the number of Buddhist priests, and the building of temples. However the move was to prove disastrous and was followed by a series of natural disasters including the flooding of half the city. In 785 the principal architect of the new capital, and royal favorite, Fujiwara no Tanitsugu, was assassinated. Meanwhile, Kanmu's armies were pushing back the boundaries of his empire. This led to an uprising, and in 789 a substantial defeat for Kanmu's troops. Also in 789 there was a severe drought and famine, the streets of the capital were clogged with the sick, and people avoiding being drafted into the military, or into forced labor. Many disguised themselves as Buddhist priests for the same reason. Consequently, in 792 Kanmu abolished national conscription, replacing it with a system wherein each province formed a militia from the local gentry. Then in 794 Kanmu suddenly shifted the capital again, this time to Heian Kyo, which is modern day Kyoto. The new capital was started early the previous year, but the change was abrupt and led to even more confusion amongst the populace. Politically, Kanmu shored up his rule by changing the syllabus of the university. Confucian ideology still provided the raison d'etre for the imperial government. In 784, Kanmu authorized the teaching of a new course based on the spring and autumn annals based on two newly imported commentaries, Kun Yang and Kuliang. These commentaries used political rhetoric to promote a state in which the emperor, as son of heaven, should extend his sphere of influence to barbarous lands, thereby gladdening the people. In 798 the two commentaries became required reading at the government university. 
Kanmu also sponsored the travels of the monks Seiko and Kukai to China, from where they returned to found the Japanese branches of, respectively, Tendai and Shingon Buddhism. Kukyo is a collective term for the very few most powerful men attached to the court of the Emperor of Japan in pre Meiji eras. In general, this elite group included only three to four men at a time. These were hereditary courtiers whose experience and background would have brought them to the pinnacle of a life's career. During Kanmu's reign, this apex of the Daehokan included, when the daughter of a Chunagon became the favored consort of the crown prince eight, her father's power and position in court was affected. Kanmu disapproved of Fujiwara no Kusuko, daughter of Fujiwara no Tatanushi, and Kanmu had her removed from his son's household. Emperor Kanmu's imperial family included 36 children. Empress, Fujiwara no Otomuro, Fujiwara no Yoshitsugu's daughter Bunin, Fujiwara no Tabiko, Fujiwara no Momokawa's daughter Hai, Imperial Princess Sakahito, Emperor Kanyin's daughter Bunin, Fujiwara no Yoshiko, Fujiwara no Karikami's daughter Bunin, Tajihi no Mamun, Tajihi no Nagano's daughter Bunin, Fujiwara no Ogaso, Fujiwara no Washitori's daughter Niyogo, Kino Odoio, Kino Katsuo's daughter Niyogo, Kudero no Kyoho, Kudara no Shuntetsu's daughter Niyogo, Tachibana. No Miko, daughter of Tachibana no Uri Niyogo, Fujiwara no Nakako, Fujiwara no Iori's daughter court lady, Tachibana no Tsuneko, Tachibana no Shimadamuro's daughter Niyogo, Fujiwara no Shoshi, Fujiwara no Kianari's daughter court lady, Sakanu no Matako, Sakanu no Kuritamuro's daughter court lady, Sakanu no Haruko, Sakanu no Tamuramuro's daughter court lady, Fujiwara no Kawako, Fujiwara no Atsugu's daughter court lady, Fujiwara no Atsumako. Fujiwara no Tanitsugu's daughter court lady, Fujiwara no Hishi slash Nanshi, Fujiwara no Takatoshi's daughter court lady, Kino Wakako, Kino Funimori's daughter court lady, Fujiwara no Kamiko, Fujiwara no Ogiramuro's daughter court lady, Tachibana no Tamarako, Tachibana no Uri's daughter court lady, Kawakami no Manu, Nishikaib no Haruido's daughter court lady, Kudero no Kayonen, Kudara no Bukio's daughter court lady, Kudero no Jokio, Kudara no Kyotoku's daughter court lady, Nakatomi. No Toyoko, Nakatomi no Oyo's daughter court lady, Tajihi no Toyotsugu, Tajihi no Hiranari's daughter court lady, Kudara no Yokei, Eizukabe no Natamuro's daughter in 2001, Japan's Emperor Akihito told reporters I, on my part, feel a certain kinship with Korea, given the fact that it is recorded in the Chronicles of Japan that the mother of Emperor Kanmu was of the line of King Moryong of Baekje. It was the first time that a Japanese emperor publicly acknowledged Korean blood in the imperial line. According to the Shoku Nihongji, Emperor Kanmu's mother, Takano no Niigasa, is a descendant of Prince Junda, son of Muryong, who died in Japan in 513. Japanese Imperial Kamon, a stylized chrysanthemum blossom. Thanks for watching.